What is this? I was just fumbling with my own words. If you're like me, you're constantly surrounded by light. I'm lit at my desk, lit in the studio, lit wherever I go. But not all lights are created equal, and the color of the lights you interact with might be messing with your mood and your health. I'm Dolly, and this is Zoetic. Lately, I've been thinking about how light affects our emotions, especially now that many of us spend less time in the sun and more time in front of the screen. On today's show, we're looking at types of light, how they affect our well-being, and what people are doing about it. So, turns out there's a lot of nuance involved in lighting. Some lights are more blue, some are more red. All depends on the temperature of the lighting, which is measured in Kelvin. Kelvin, absolute zero. If you don't know what that is, you should probably look it up. Okay, so take your old school light bulb, the ones that have that curly filament in the middle. It emits incandescent light, which falls in the red range of light temperatures. These lights are very electricity hungry, which is bad, but at least they don't mess too much with your mood, which is probably good. Now, take your energy efficient light bulbs. CFLs, LEDs, they emit light that's bluer on the spectrum. They use less power than incandescent lighting, but they can mess with your mood. Let me explain. See, not all temperatures of light affect us equally. Turns out bluer lights have shorter wavelengths than red lights and therefore are higher energy. So what makes them so energy efficient? They're great for keeping us alert, happy, and productive. But too much of a good thing could end up hurting us too, especially because we're surrounded more and more with blue lights. That includes your phone screen, your TV screen, your computer screen, and whatever screen you're looking at right now. With more devices and more LEDs, plus the movement to be more energy efficient, blue lights are steadily replacing traditional lights in our homes and offices. So what's this doing to our health? You may have heard that looking at your tablet or your phone before bed is bad for your sleep. That's because your phone, monitor, and TV are packed with blue lights and LEDs. Blue light reminds the body of sunlight, and sunlight 24-7 is deaf unnatural. The more exposure your eyes have to blue lights, the more your body starts to suppress melatonin, the sleep hormone. Melatonin actually anticipates darkness, so when it's dark outside but you've got a face full of blue light, your body gets confused. And a few experiments have backed this up. Scientists in Switzerland conducted an experiment where they asked 13 men to sit in front of different monitors over the course of two weeks. In the first week, the men watched an old school fluorescent monitor for five hours each night before going to bed. In the second week, they did the same thing but sat in front of an LED screen. The result? Melatonin levels took much longer to rise in the second week because of the LED screens. Messing with your sleep hormone, especially those few hours before bed, can completely throw off your body's clock, which is called the circadian rhythm. It's got a nice ring to it. Circadian rhythm. This not only interrupts your sleep in the evening, but also affects your alertness in the morning. No wonder so many people are tired all the time, especially after a late night of TV binging. Overexposure to blue lights not only messes with your sleep, it also messes with your health. In 2007, the World Health Organization warned that graveyard shifts, where you're constantly exposed to blue office lighting in a regular sleep, are potentially carcinogenic. That's because disruptions to your body's circadian rhythm not only mess up sleep patterns and suppress melatonin, but also, quote, dysregulate genes involved in tumor development. Yikes. As recently as this past June, the American Medical Association issued a warning about high-intensity LED city streetlights and their negative impact on health. The AMA found that these high-intensity lamps, with a temperature of at least 4,000 Kelvin, could have five times greater impact on your circadian rhythm than traditional street lamps. So these intensely blue lights are not just disrupting the sleep in our already sleepless cities, they're also posing serious long-term health effects on residents. But how can we escape the blue lights, especially when our world is hungry for more electricity and we're more reliant than ever on devices and screens. Is there a sweet spot for staying up to date on technology while also maintaining a healthy lifestyle? Well, some scientists are working on energy efficient light bulbs for NASA that will switch between red and blue wavelengths throughout the day. Hopefully they'll help astronauts stay alert during waking hours and keep them on a productive sleep cycle. There's a simple at-home solution. Avoid intimate contact with your screens for those two to three hours before you sleep, which can be hard, I know. What's that say? Some people get orange tinted glasses that block out blue light for late night Netflix binges, and others use apps that dim your screen based on the time of the day. Maybe the easiest route is to commit to spending less time with devices and just more time outside. We may reinvent the light bulb a hundred more times, make lights a lot more red than blue, and live in a super energy efficient world. At the end of the day, nothing beats the benefits of natural sunlight. They say just 15 minutes a day of basking in the sun gives you all the vitamin D you need to survive. So what's gonna work for you? 
Let me know what you're doing at home these days to try and make sure you're on a regular sleep cycle. Thank you guys for watching. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you want to cover next time. Don't forget to subscribe and take a walk after this. Bye.